Hey, what's going on everybody? This is D Car Lady coming at you. All right, today we're going to discuss Easy One Up training, how to make your first $1,000 in Easy One Up. All right, so there's a lot of people out there who are looking to make money online and everything. And then of course, you know, a lot of us do wind up joining Easy One Up, but sometimes you can find yourself a little confused and wondering like, you know, how do I even make this work? You know, or maybe you've had just a little bit of sales, you know, maybe like a $25 sale here and there type thing. Well, today I'm going to kind of let you guys in on my method that I used to make my first $1,000 in Easy One Up and you can do this method as well. All right, so let's jump into it. Okay, first off guys, if the method itself is not complicated, all right, so as I explain it, if you need to pause the video and all that good stuff, just definitely do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the process of following up with my leads that I have for Easy One Up. I'm gonna follow up with them on a regular basis, but I'm gonna follow up not just, you know, because a lot of times people are like, well, what do I send them? Do I just, you know, introduce myself and this and that and the third, right? You know, well, that's only gonna be like two emails right there, right? What I do is I follow up and offer my super valuable bonuses, okay? Um, basically, every day you want to do that, follow up with your leads, and you want that's giving them a reason to one, join Easy One Up, which is a wonderful marketing and training program, but number two, join you at the thousand dollar level okay you follow me there you kind of getting to see you know how you're going to be able to make um your first a thousand dollars okay so let's go ahead and jump into that now to do that i'm going to need to share my screen and go ahead and show you guys how you can actually export your contacts out of the easy one up system so that way you can follow up with them on your own all right so let's do it All right, so we over here in our Easy One Up system, our back office, and you want to go over to uh, my team. All right, and what you want to do is go over to the elevation level, okay? Now, once you get to this level here, let me move my camera out the way, okay? Now, what you're going to be able to do is actually extract all of your contacts out of here. And to do that, you want to choose, you can either choose elevation uh, unpaid, you know, or you can choose Elevation Active because actually, re regardless of which one you choose, it's actually going to allow you to get all of the contacts out of there anyway. It's going to do the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it at uh, Elevation Active, okay? And then we'll click this uh, area right here where it says Extract Elevation Downline, okay? And like I said, it's going to actually um, extract all of the uh, contacts anyway. So let's go ahead and click that. All right, you see the progress bar down here. This is how it is on my computer. All right. And you'll see that we have the uh, list here. And you see I've definitely extracted it before. Um, and we have the list right here. And this is the list that we're going to use. Now, we need to go ahead and format this just a little bit. Of course, it just depends on which autoresponder that you're going to use to put them in. In our case, we're just going to use the uh, autoresponder get response. And the format is not um, anything difficult. You just want to make sure it shows the uh, name and the email address. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we have the list open here. And so you see, there's gonna be some columns that we go ahead and get rid of because we don't need them, okay? So username, we don't need that. We're just gonna go ahead and delete that uh, column right there, okay? Um, that leaves us with the first name right there. That leaves us with the last name right there, which is fine. Um, that leaves us with the uh, email address. That leaves us with the phone number, which is fine. If you have that, you can leave that in there. All right, um, program, we're gonna go ahead and delete that because we don't need it. Um, status. We're going to delete that because we don't need it. All right. Um, date join. We're going to delete that because we don't need that either. Okay. So go ahead and delete that. All right. So basically what we have left is the first name, last name, email, and phone. And honestly, you could even delete the last name column. You don't actually uh, need that, but you know, you can leave it in. It's not going to matter either way. All right. So now what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and save what we have here. Okay. So let's go ahead and save it. All right. And then save it one more time here. And the program that you're using may be different than the program um, I'm using. So it may look a little different, but the concept is going to be the same. I'm just using a word here. All right. 
All right, so I'm over here in my get response account. Okay, so that way I can go ahead and import it. And you know, if you guys are using a different autoresponder, that's fine. Just look at the instructions for that one. If you don't have a particular autoresponder at the time, I'll make sure that I leave a link below so that way you can go ahead and you know go ahead and get get response. And I'll leave a link so that way actually you can get a thirty dollar credit too. That's that's a pretty good one right there. All right, so let's go ahead and choose uh, the list that we want it in. Okay. All right. So once you've already created your list, all right. So let me go and see which list I want to put this in. And you can put them in a, um, a brand new list if you choose. I want to put them in a list that I already created here. So I'm going to go over here and add context. All right, so the process for you know, uploading these uh, contacts into your autoresponder, of course, is going to be based upon the autoresponder that you use. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go through and answer these questions right here for Git response. All right. I'm going to start with that one, and then I'm going to upload the file, all right, and then let's go ahead and import, and let's go ahead and find that list, let's easy one up, spell it correctly. And this is basically what you're going to do. Find a list where you just saved it. And this is the one that we saved here. All right. And we already formatted it with having the, the name, the email, and the phone if you have it, and all that good stuff. All right. And I'm going to put here, I'm going to put only add new. The reason I'm doing that because I already have some people on my list. Okay. But in your case, if you're doing this brand new, all right, you can just um, put update existing or anything like that. But like I said, I'm only going to do new because I don't want to duplicate it. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and click that for permission and hit next. All right, and you see it's letting you know that the uh, fields have been formatted because it has green checks. Once again, this is how it looks in Get Response. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and scroll down and letting us know that our contacts are ready to be imported and hit the import button. Now, it does take a little while for the contacts to be imported. Sometimes it can take up to a couple hours. Sometimes it happens in 30 minutes, what have you. But the point of the matter is, once your contacts are actually uploaded, okay, then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and create the email out to that list. So you go over to your list section, all right, and you just choose the list that you want to send it out to, which is the same list that you just imported the contacts into, all right? And you go over here and... And you want to go ahead and send it out as a broadcast and in Get Response, that's actually called a newsletter. All right. So go ahead and put show newsletters. So that way you could go ahead and create a new newsletter. All right. And basically, you're going to construct your email at that point, uh, enticing a person to go ahead and upgrade it with you an easy one up. You're going to let them know about the bonuses that you have and all that good stuff as well as, you know, a little bit about what the company has done for you, okay? Now, um, I know what you're probably thinking, hey, what do I say in the email, this, that, the third? Well, I tell you what, um, you'll have available to you at the link down below in the description, okay? You will have access, all right? I'll show you how to get access to get my specific email swipes so that way you know exactly what I'm sending out to my list as well as my custom funnels that I use. Just click the link in the description to find out how you can gain access to that. And guys, just so you know, this absolutely does work. As you see here in my back office, this is how I've been able to generate this type of income, you know, just doing this uh, part-time online. And I started out as a brand newbie, okay, guys? So this is definitely something that you can do even if you don't have any experience or anything like that. As you see, the proof is literally in the pudding right there, guys. It absolutely worked. And I've also been able to even reach heights on the leaderboards with Easy One Up. As you see, my progression here at number 10 here, eight, seven, and number three currently as we make this video, okay, guys? So I just want to not impress you, but impress upon you that this, what I'm telling you to do, it absolutely works, okay? All you have to do is follow the steps and follow through and you can have the same success. As a matter of fact, you can even have a better success. The sky is truly not the limit for you. All right. All right. Because basically, guys, 
if you are not doing this on a regular basis, okay, and when I say that, meaning do this every single day. Now, you see the process only takes you about maybe, even when you, you know, go ahead and create the email, or if you're using my swipes, use the swipes, you're talking about maybe 10, 15 minutes a day, all right? But you want to do this on a regular basis, okay, because what's going to happen is people are going to start seeing the value. It's definitely for the value of the bonus that you offer. You're also going to get access to my uh, specific Team D Car Lady bonuses, all right? And that's going to also be at that link below so you can find out how to get access to those because you definitely want to be sending out those bonuses, providing that value, and you want to do that every single day. And that has nothing to do with the autoresponder you already have set up, you know, because a lot of times you already have emails going out. These are the broadcasts, the ones that you send out specifically to your leads and easy one up. Okay, so that's something that we're doing every single day on our team. We do this every day. Like I said, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And that's how you're going to be able to get your first $1,000 sale and easy one up, guys. It really is just that simple, I promise you. Okay, all right. Hopefully you found some value in this video, this easy one up training on how to make $1,000, um, how to make your first $1,000 in easy one up. If you have, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel, guys. Go ahead and crush that bell icon, all right, so you can be alerted to the next time I come out with some training because I'm definitely bringing to you every single week the tools, tips, tricks, all right, on how I make money online and how you as a brand newbie can make money online as well. The link in the description, the very first link is going to be access, showing you guys how you can get access to my swipes, to my funnels, to my bonuses, and also I'll include a link so that way, if you don't have an autoresponder just yet, go ahead and grab that autoresponder get response so that we can get a $30 credit as well, all right? Other than that, guys, you already know what we came to do. We're going to take this ride to the top, baby. All right, and we out.